Hey everybody, Richard Pie Guy here. Today I was actually working on this project of restoring this Aerosmith style Nintendo Wii Guitar Hero controller. And I got this all shined up, you can see, super shiny now. Uh, it was actually a total mess. I should have taken before and after photos because somebody put stickers all over this, which I don't know why you would when it's got this really cool Aerosmith sort of um, design on here. I guess if you're not an Aerosmith uh, fan though, you know, you would put stickers on it. I guess that's what happened. Uh, but what I was dealing with was my green and red buttons up here, which are actually the buttons that you use most when trying to get into a Guitar Hero game to make selections and all that. They weren't registering at all, so I figured I'd have to take this all apart and check the connections within the neck. And then I remembered that on these controllers for Wii, there's this little toggle button here in the back. If you move it to the unlock position, you could pull the neck right off from the body, just like that. And there's six connections in here which you can see right here, they're um, sort of like a goldish color. Uh, and they actually get prone to being really dirty. These were completely black, so I knew that was the connection issue. And it was on two of the six, uh, which makes sense that it would be for two of the buttons up here. So I took some rubbing alcohol on the end of Q-tip, shined them up. Uh, they're not perfect, but I tested them out in the menu and they actually work super well there. So I wanna test them out in a game. And then all of a sudden today, I got this order for Guitar Hero Metallica for Nintendo Wii. So I got to ship this out and I figured, let me kill two birds with one stone. Let me test out the game and also test out this controller that I've been working on. So got it all connected, ready to go here. We're gonna throw this disc into my Nintendo Wii back here and we're gonna test out both the Guitar Hero controller here as well as the game, make sure everything's good. And then I know I can list this on Amazon for sale um, and I can ship out my Guitar Hero Metallica game first thing tomorrow morning so the buyer receives it in about two days or so. So let's jump into it. All right, so here's Guitar Hero Metallica. Let's jump into quick play. Single, we'll do guitar, and uh, I gotta find a song. I gotta do a Metallica song even though there's more than just Metallica on here, which I think is awesome. Um, let's see, what do we have? Cyanide, that's later, Metallica. Um, uh, King Nothing. So this is one of my favorite Metallica songs, even though it's not one of their um, necessarily classics. It's their 90s Metallica. Um, so we'll do medium. I'm not great at these, so I think medium will be challenging enough for me. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, I hate these multiple notes like this. I think I always mess these up laser in on these. You'd think they'd be easy, but I find it harder to hit the notes like this than when it's different buttons. I like the bass line here. It's more interesting. Big bass.
wish I may, I wish I might have this wish I wish tonight. I want that star. bad. I thought it was over there at the end. I'm going to start it back up. Oh, let's see what percentage we got there. Probably like a 96, I would guess. Definitely wasn't perfect. I kept missing that uh, blue button there. 97%. Not bad. I'll take it. After not playing this in forever, I'll definitely take 97%. All right, guys, so that was an absolute blast to dive in here and uh, play a little bit of Metallica here on Guitar Hero Metallica for the Nintendo Wii. Great to uh, be able to kill two birds with one stone, um, you know, testing out the Guitar Hero controller just to make sure that the connections are good on there after I spent all that hard work shining it up and getting all the sticker residue and all that crap off of there. Uh, but most importantly, since I sold this game, everything with Guitar Hero Metallica is great. I checked the back of the disc as well. Uh, as I always do when I'm going to sell something, and it's just perfect. Super shiny on here, no blemishes, no scratches, or anything like that. So it's going to make somebody happy in about two days when they receive it uh, through UPS. So everything's good there. Absolutely love this game. The only challenge for me on this game is it's a lot of fast-paced games. It's a lot of heavy metal, a lot of hard rock music. So obviously it's fast-paced across the board. Um, so, you know, I'm out of practice with these games, so it's definitely a challenge to keep up with the majority of them. Luckily, I made it through um, King Nothing here, uh, which I'm j I think helps that I'm such a fan of that particular song. But um, that's going to do it for today. I just wanted to dive in here. Figured I'd film this because I'm checking these games out. Um, as well as the controller anyways. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, smash the like button for me. It's a huge help here on YouTube. You know the drill though. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you want to stay in the loop for everything Retro Pie Guy. Here on YouTube, you'll be in the loop for all future videos and all that good stuff here on the channel. Just want to thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time here on the Retro Pie Guy YouTube channel.